Junk some clue over here in Porterville. Yeah, I thought we'd see about another video today. I guess I better find a shim. That ought to work. So I'm tearing this armature apart. There ain't much left in it. I just thought I'd do a quick video of it. A little bit left. Cut the one end off. I'm sure most of the guys strapping already know all this. There's a lot of videos on them, but I used a cutoff saw there. Cut one end off. about that ledge yesterday. You definitely want to do that outside. Or if you don't know how to do stuff safe, maybe not even do it like that because it'll definitely uh, scar you for life. underneath me. The more of these you do, the better you get. I 
understand I'd like to do is very would like to find them. Although I have done a smaller one. So if that ain't a piece of brass right there, I'd check it with a magnet. I'd throw that at my two foot. What's left of it? I got a few on this floor here. I'll take them up. This here, these were around that armature here, and things right there were around the armature. There's four or five of them. That'll go my two foot too. This is a a car coil. There's a little bit of copper on that. Be number two. This stuff gets burnt down, it's burnt down too much, it becomes number three. But yeah. I'm still trying to get a good spot to work in here. I want to get my benches where I can use them and I need another bench out in the open more. The way my bench is over here, or a toolbox in the way, but the way my bench is over here against the wall there, there's the vices on the in toward the window. A lot of times I can't get the long stuff in there. If I'm trying to do brass on pipe or something, but usually I try to shear it off. I've said it before, but most everything in here comes from different auctions, and people know I look for different stuff. And I don't know if I can get this one apart. I probably can. This is. You see, this could be number two here. Sorry about spinning everybody around. That's my number two pail over there. Really fine, super fine. I know there's a bunch of different ways to do it. I found the gill here all day long. I wouldn't wear a mask. A lot of times I did, but I'm trying to get where I do that to stuff get to you after quite a few years. These things pretty dull. You got the bolt cutters down there, but this is Uh, too much weather and heavy things around. A little bit of copper in there. Uh, maybe a quarter of a pound. I don't know. Not much. Get into a little thicker stuff and get to the bottom of it. Still looks like number two.
the best way is to go over to the voice, but see if I'm doing a video. Probably may as well show me how you're playing around with stuff. Or I got the cutoff saw right there. I could have just cut it in half. There's my number one pail, or number two pail, box I should say. Pounds, I guess. About the same on that. The bucket weighs what, two or three pounds? This is a junkin' pool out here just playing around. That's what I used to cut that off. Generally, I use one of these with a skinny wheel, and that one's got the fat wheel on it, so they don't cut as good. There's my bench. I had that all cleaned off. I'm working my way to getting that cleaned off. Because the vice, you can't beat that, so. And I'm still looking for my air chisel. I'm, where the heck could that be? But it's around here. Remnants of some other air conditioner scrap. I gotta get the old broom out of the old new house that we bought over there. Found some more copper there. A little bit more copper. I've been pitching it down the way I've been picking up my copper. And there's a, some of the lead in the other video. And there's the wheel weights back in here. Like I say, I was looking for. I was looking for that um, French fryer to... I'm going to do a video melting this down, but I haven't found one yet. If I can't find one, I may have to go to the Salvation Army the Goodwill where they got that old stuff, see if I can find a good good sized French fryer. I throw so many of them in there and I go outside and them wheel weights and rig up a little finagling so I ain't breathing it and get it going. and. <laughs> Melt down so many into another ingot, big ingot, and then uh, when I get a bunch of them done, one thing it's out of the way, another thing it's money in the bank, or probably take it in. Price has been staying about 43 cents a pound on that for a while now to one place, so that weighs up pretty quick. Lead and brass weighs up pretty quick, so. Anyway, junk and pool over here in Portville. Trying to get into doing more um, videos where I'm actually scrapping instead of talking about it. A little bit here and there. We're going to get into some bigger and better things. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks to all the subscribers, new and old. Welcome to Portville. Thumbs up, subscribe, and share. Have a great day. Goodbye now. Don't forget, don't forget to leave a comment if you want. Appreciate you watching. Bye.